one. I'd like to go over the trading ideas. I added the monthly charts for the weekend edition. Uh, it's in earlier, you know, I prefer to do these in pre-market to get an idea of where pre-market's heading or where the market's heading. But I'd like everybody to get a, uh, a view of the oscillators uh, and give them more time for research and planning over the weekend. So this is AMC. We closed yesterday on a gravestone. This is actually a bearish reversal candle. You can see the bulls at one time come in, they opened up and run it up. The bears come in, took back control. As long as we're holding this 50 with this nine here, uh, I still think it has a chance to, to move up. Um, but that is a bearish reversal signal. We will have to keep a close eye on that. Uh, crude, still watching this rounded bottom here, or rounded top. Uh, formed at a trend line, so there is a chance for crude to move down. It's a big area for it. I would keep an eye. I need to extend this support level out. You know, as long as we're above the support level, uh, still somewhat good, but we are uh, back above the nine now. So this could still push. Uh, definitely watching it, but we do have this trend line here, uh, and you can see the roundness and the price action there. Uh, we can't take that trend line out or that 50 moving average. Uh, you know, it's in trouble. It could come back down, test that support, and see what happens there. That's looking bearish. Um, so the put-to-call ratio still in the neutral zone. It had a wild ride yesterday. You can see it. It uh, We started out in the neutral, uh, went clean way back into the bearish zone again, and then come back up to the neutral zone. So it's been it's been on the move. Uh, but we are neutral right now. This is the McLaren oscillator for the NASDAQ. Uh, neutral, uh, positive 73. We're good there. Plenty of room. We can move in either direction. Uh, the New York Stock Exchange, uh, 68. There's not much difference between these two. Uh, we can, just still in the neutral zone, we can move in either direction. Uh, the U.S. dollar. We put this cup in and handle, which the handle worked out to be a nice little symmetrical triangle. It tried to break to the downside at first, tested the 20, started pushing back up. Right now, we are testing uh, this original resistance level, uh, which was resistance here, forming a cup. Did manage to take it out and then lost it again. We are testing that level. Uh, the moving averages are working their way up, but the MACD has fizzled out. I have to see what uh, Tuesday brings. Uh, this is the VIX. Uh, you can see we come down. We pushed up here to put in a lower high. Come down testing the same support area. We lose that. If we open up under this, I think UVXY uh, puts would be a good uh, play. This is the 15-minute VIX. You can see it, there is a support level down here. We touched it here pushed up put in this rounded top here uh you could ac actually look at this let's draw this real quick we have a little more time on the weekends so we can draw this like that and that signals a nice uh, rounded top but you have an inverted uh, cup and handle right there that line kind of in the way but you can see the inverted cup and handle uh, that can be a uh, bearish uh, reversal signal or bearish continuation pattern basically so if the market does push up we are looking for the vix to pull back uh apple nice green candle yesterday bullish engulfing um pushed up took the nine out right into the 20 so you know we've talked about this before that 20 is a big area and a lot of assets are back at it you can see avi right here traded pretty flat dipped and then ripped at the end of the day uh basically that's what the market did a lot of nice nice moves in the market friday you know we had trends shoot up shoot back down and then we recovered very nice day uh, this is looking weak here with all these wicks the macd still looks good looks like it's trying to pinch right there this hammer candle um hammer should be on the bottom so that's not technically a hammer candle friday's candle 
is trying to respect the nine and push up. So this is a big spot. This nine come Monday, this nine should be firmly underneath this candle to see if this thing will push. Uh, we can definitely see resistance there, but we were also extended. AMD, uh, you know, we've been talking bearish, bearish, bearish. We were talking about this bear flag here. We have broke out of it to the downside. We have tested the bottom of the flag, come back up, put in a lower high, and it, you know, trending down, blow all the moving averages. This is AMD's weekly chart. You know, last week, you know, we talked about this move down now, the bear flag. Last week, we had a, the previous week before last, last week, you can see a big, big bearish move down. Uh, a lot of that is to do with MU and just all the FUD going on. Uh, but the week before, we just had an, an inside candle, an inside week, and then a rip down for last week. A firm. You can see we've been wedging here. We had this diamond pattern, uh, which is a bearish uh, continuation pattern, a bearish reversal signal, bearish signal uh, come down. We ended up putting in this trend line here that allowed us to get the second, uh, you know, one, two, three contacts on that line. Uh, this is the fourth contact. Now we're breaking below it. If we open below this wedge, I am bearish on a firm. You can see we pushed up after hours a little bit. You can see the volume coming in on it at the end of the day as well. AMC, a uh, big rip. We talked about this in the recap. Big rip and then a big pullback. You're saying that's how that formed that gravestone because we opened and ripped and the bears come back in and took back control. So. This is AMD's 15-minute chart. You see, just steady. You know, we've been in a downtrend for the last three days there. Amazon did have a strong, Amazon had a strong day. Uh, so we were watching this support level. You know, we put it in here. We touched, we bounced, we touched, we bounced. We come back in, we wicked down, touched, and we bounced. Uh, but we're getting tighter in this wedge. Can we take the nine out? Can we take the 20 out? Can we take the trend line out? Then we have the 50. So there's a lot of uh, big areas there to get out of this, this uh, wedge that it's trading in. And it needs to get out of that wedge to obviously push up. Um, Apple, you know, ripped it open, pulled back. Big rip at the end of the day. We talked about that one in the recap video. Uh, Apple weekly chart. You can see we tried to push up into the 20. Uh, we've talked about how big of an area the 20 was uh, last week. And you can see why now, because we got rejected. Uh, so you can see we pushed up into it and pulled back. See where we opened Tuesday. Uh, Boeing starting to look like a rounded top and it, it Broke out, got back above the moving averages, and tested resistance again. We have to get above resistance. You know, this level here is, is holding it down. If it can take that level out, it still has the uh, an opportunity to move. You moving averages have still are still trying to ascend here, so it still has a chance to move. But it has to take that level out, or it, it will be coming down. A Bitcoin, you can see we're right down here testing the support. We lose this support, you know, 12, 13,000 ish in that area is probably where we're heading. A Boeing 15 minute chart, you can see we ripped, pulled back, and we did not, uh, we did not take out the high of the day at the end of the day. So that's actually a little on the bear side under this resistance level here that has been resistance for quite some time. You can see we've tested it in the past, tested it. Um, so that's what we need to watch out for Monday. We need to take out the uh, Friday or Tuesday. I'm sorry. So Tuesday to go bullish on this, we need to take out Tuesday's high or wait for a pullback. BMY, this is losing some of its bullishness. Has dropped under the nine here, under support. CVX, uh, just a big struggle with the crude place. Uh, should be a big move coming down off of that moving average. Uh, something is, is holding price. We had this bear flag. You know, uh, the buyers are, are just, I don't really 
uh, understand what's going on here because we should have pulled back. The buyers are trying to push it up, but it's not been on high volume or anything. But they're trying to hold it and take this nine out. Uh, with crude pulling back uh, in the bear flag here, I would have already expected to move down to the 200. This is CVX 15 minute chart. You can see the open, the pullback, and we took out, so you can see the relative strength here. We took out the, the previous high of the day, put in a new high of the day right at the end of the day. That's, that's a sign of strength. So your stronger names, that's what happened. Oh, your weaker names could not retake the high of the day. Some of them didn't even come close to it. So obviously we're looking for stocks that are leading the market. We're looking for the stocks Monday morning that took out the high of the day on Friday at the end of the day. There is maybe the better opportunity. Uh, things change, you know, in the market rapidly. So we could have a totally different market Tuesday morning. You have this little symmetrical triangle here. There's nothing textbook about that, but it is in this wedge. And this is Lily. Uh, we are holding this support level. The nine's on its way up. We could still have a chance to push, still bullish above this level. Above this candle right here, we're still bullish. Nine's catching up. Uh, and you can see, you can actually see it dip below, touch that nine and pushed. This nine's going to move uh, a little bit farther when we open up Tuesday. And as long as this nine's pushing up and we respect that nine, it has a chance to push. Exxon, you can see we took out the previous high of the day took out the 200 holding the 200 uh, that's one we can watch tuesday morning uh, gme you know i'm expecting to touch this level and and hopefully you know take it out to the downside or push you can go in either one uh, still struggling with the nine looks like it is back above it uh, see where it opens tuesday morning if we can hold the nine maybe it'll push uh, if not we'll continue to look for that downside GME, a 15 minute chart, pull back, and you know, basically what everything else did, it snatched back and then recovered. But, you know, a sign of weakness here, you can see how we wicked up above the support or resistance level. Uh, we did wick up and touch it, but it's just really doesn't, it's not showing us that relative strength that other stocks are showing where it just, just went in beast mode at the end of the day and took the previous levels right out. Q's back below the 9, still below the 9, the 20. Uh, you also have this downtrend, then you have the 50, just a big area there, 200 above that. Uh, the Q's 15-minute chart, you can see we uh, ended up taking the previous high out, so this traded very strongly at the end of the day. You can see this gap here, resistance. Now this gap was filled. But we have resistance at these candles. Looks like we couldn't quite make it that, you know, make it there. The 200 stalled us out. So getting above that 200 will be a big spot Tuesday morning to go to be bullish. You can see the weekly chart pushed right into this trend line. Uh, couldn't even take the nine out, much less the 20. So this is definitely weaker than the spy. And we know we know that anyway. The 200's a lot closer than what the spy is. Watching for a pull back to this 200 that's a huge area you can also see the 200s working its way up to a support level uh, the bonds bonds been trying to push we took the downtrend out took the 50 out but they you know they pulled it all the way back for a gravestone on friday right on top of this 50 so the 50 is the area to watch we you can see they did push it outside of the bollinger bands and it got snatched back in that 50 is the area to watch. If we can take that 50 out, this can this should be able to push. If we can hold the 50, this should be able to push. It's waiting on the 9 to catch up now. Uh, IWM, this is IWM's weekly chart. Took the 200 back here. Uh, this had already lost the 200, which is uh, just not a good thing to get below this weekly 200. You can see at one time we had took it back and then rejected again. So we are still below. This weekly 200 we lost it here this candle took it back uh, this candle opened up above the 200 and give it back by the end of the week you see green candle on friday but we're uh 
into that nine on the daily if we do take that out we have the 20 would be the next big area you can see the trend you know uh the 20s descending and right come right across that wick so that's a big area uh so you could actually draw a trend line from right through here so taking the 20 out that trend line out and then the 50 would be the next level to watch 50 just keeps getting lower so you can see we originally pushed on this one and it gave us pretty much give us a double top right here it was rejected so you have the levels to work with there from the previous day rejected put in a little symmetrical triangle down here and ripped took out the 200 took out the double top the previous tops previous highs of the day a sign of strength uh, mro i'm not sure what's going on there um, but we did not take out the previous high of the day. So this is Meta's weekly chart. Uh, this is the wedge I've been you know, constantly talking about. We have broken out of the wedge to the downside. Um, and as long as we're down here, I'm bearish. Uh, we need to get back above that. We are below the 200 on this one. You can see we took the 200 out, come back, retested it. And it's just looking pretty ugly there. Uh, this is uh, Facebook Meta's uh, daily chart. We are holding this wedge. I redrew this line. So we are still holding this wedge here. Help we break below this. We are in a lot of trouble. Um, the 9 there is resistance right now. The 9 on the daily. Uh, the 15-minute chart. And you can see here we did not take back the previous highs. Microsoft. Nice push up uh, over top the nine and a twenty here. See if we can hold this Monday morning. Uh, and then the next target would be the fifty if we can open up above those levels. And you can see Microsoft. You know we've ripped up way past the previous high of the day. It's a sign of strength there. Um, you can see Microsoft here on the on the weekly. We did end up taking this downtrend out. And now it looks like we have dipped right back below it. Uh, watch the nine on the weekly. We are below that right now as well, but the nine on the weekly is uh, resistance. If we open below that with that weekly candle, MRO retesting this support level, the nine is bearing down on it. If we lose this level, watch for the 200. I can see this giving quite a bit of the gains back. If crew doesn't get it together soon, you know, we can be looking for probably the 16, 15, 16 level. I would watch for this volume bar to come down and test this volume bar if we lose that two, if we lose that support level and then the 200. So there's a couple of levels in the way before we worry about being that low. Oxy ripped up above the previous high. Oxy is the stronger one. Um, definitely, definitely stronger than a lot of the other energy plays. You can see we retested a previous level here. We retested here and ripped on it. You know, move at the end of the day. There's Oxy's daily chart. We are holding this nine. The 20's coming down. The 50's right there. So we have some big areas to take out. But you can look at this like a low. You have a low, a high, a higher low. Hopefully we can push up to put a higher high, a higher high in see where we go on that palantir back below the resistance level uh you can see we did test the 20 here and push back up above the uh 59 still resistance still has we still have to get above this resistance level here as well but you know we just talked about uh, the price waves you have a high a low a higher high hopefully we can put in a higher low and continue to push up. Palantir's 15 minute chart. Like we tested this level, could not take it out at the end of the day, like some of the other stocks did. So it was not showing relative strength versus the market on intraday charts. CRM below all the major moving averages here. You can see we did take out the previous high of the day, barely. I don't know if we drew it off those wicks. We may not have took that. doesn't look like we took that out. 200 resistance. We need to get above that 200 on the 15 to even think about being bullish. 
uh, SoFi here right into resistance again could not take out the previous uh, highs of the day so we you know we're looking for the stronger names that are leading the market all right this is a spy weekly chart uh, so this candle is closed now we'll get a new candle uh, Tuesday morning you can see we did push up into the 20 uh, we talked about the 20 being a huge area and we were rejected I'm sorry, we pushed up into the nine. This is the 20 clean up here on the weekly. We pushed up into the nine and and got rejected. There's your 20 right there. The different color charts, the different color the moving average lines are. Wish I could set on the one color. Uh, so this is the monthly chart. So we closed this candle down. We didn't fill it up completely, so we still... The low is still 263-ish area, but we still close pretty strong to the downside. Yesterday, we got a little bit of green to open that candle up with. That's from that end of the day push. You can see we're back above the 9 and this uh, resistance level. 20 is the next area, the 20. The 20 on the daily is a big spot. It needs to be took out. The 9 on the weekly chart is a big spot it needs to be took out you can see at the end of the day strength there tesla uh, numbers are good somehow from what i've read i haven't been able to dig into it but looks like the numbers are good uh the delivery numbers somehow they keep pulling it off even with half of china shut down shanghai plant closed they still managed to pull it off but you can see we tested the support, pushed up, tested the support, pushed up, tested the support. We need to break out of this area. It's really struggling with this area. Been trading Tesla uh, on a daily basis. You see we're back below the moving averages. Some tight, really tight candles down here. You know, that tells us there's probably a big move coming. We just don't know which direction. Uh, you can also see we did not have the relative strength at the end of the day here that we had, you know, in the SPY. So this is trading weaker than the SPY and a lot of other assets as well. Upstart, this tight wedge, we have broken below this wedge. Uh, retesting it, we do need to take this level out or we will, we can definitely expect a move down. Watch the nine, you can see the 20 rolling over the nine so we need the moving averages to come down uh, to apply pressure to take us to the downside upstart 15 traded flat with the end of the day candles we were unable to take them out all right utility really nice candle yesterday uh, I like that they're, you know, this gives us something to watch. I will want to try to be doing a, a utilities list. We have the utilities list. I'm going to try to do a video on that list. Uh, not all of these utility stocks are good option stocks. Um, a lot of them are slow movers, but this could be a place to invest money while, you know, the market's in turmoil. If these continue to rise, this chart looks really good. We pushed up, put in a base here pushed up took the 50 took the support level out actually had a small gap up come back filled the gap you can see the wick filled the gap and then pushed uh, this is a nice looking chart and i just added it here to point it out i definitely want to do a list of a uh, video for the uh utility list could be some good investments in there uh, short-term investments uh, wells fargo banks were uh fairly strong friday took the nine back out 20 is the next level to watch for if we hold the nine we have to open up and hold that nine but look how strong we were at the end of the day these things just ripped nice flag there on the 15 to, for an entry but they just you know come back in it dipped a little lower than the previous low of the day and had a big move to the upside uh, so some of the banks closed very strong exxon Mobil still below the nine this resistance level here uh, watching it at this nine if we cannot take this nine back out you know we're going to be watching it with a bearish mindset macd's bearish uh 
weaker than the markets. Zim, big move down. Let's go look at the daily chart. Oh, so we had just talked about this rounded bottom Friday morning and Friday we got a huge move down, clean down. The wicks went way down past the support and recovered. But you can look if we go back, let's go back to the 15. I went the wrong way. So you can see it downtrending in uh, pre market. When market opened, it just ripped down. Put in this low down here, it recovered a little bit of it, but made a big move down. Uh, watching your 50 here for resistance Tuesday morning. I would think some of that would probably, we'll have to see where it opens up at, but I would think uh, would probably need to push up a little bit and recover some of that and try to get a flag. Just a huge move down where we're, you know, extended. Fought $4 from the moving average over $4 from the nine there. It's very extended. Big move would have paid well. Four dollar move with options is, is a nice move. Uh, I hope uh, you can everybody learn something here. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. Please rest, get you know, relax, uh, spend some family time this weekend. You know, family is so important. That's the reason why we do this. Um, I hope to see everybody in the trading room and have a great rest of the day.